What's something we all love and brings us together? Food. I myself am a food junkie. When there's food in front of me, I eat it. But through my experience of eating all sorts of foods, I have ran into one major issue. Poor digestion. Are you trying to tell me I can't eat food because my body can't properly digest it? What should we do? I'm Logan and this is my quest to discover Chinese medicine. Let's see what the doctors have to say about it. Chinese medicine is great. Chinese medicine works. As I told you guys, we are in good hands. I've got some of the best Chinese medical practitioners that I could find to help us better understand Chinese medicine. Greg, Dr. Yen, I'm back. I'm back. I love food, I've been challenging food, but I finally found my match. Poor digestion. Oh, Logan, you just uh, uncomfortable. You just that it broke it. What oh. happened to you? I just need something. Does, does Chinese medicine have the answer for this? You came to the right place. Don't worry, Logan. Chinese medicine does have an answer. It's going to help your digestion. Go to the lab. <laughs> food addict. I love food, but that leads to some digestion problems and some bowel problems that leave me uncomfortable sometimes and a little bit scared to eat some of my favorite foods. In my clinic, I, uh, very often I, I saw some uh, children who have a poor appetite and their parents worry about their poor digestion. So Chinese herbal medicine can help them to uh, increase their appetite. Uh, many uh, people who work in the office, uh, they might have a heartburn or GERD, and especially when they are uh, very uh, stressful. So uh, these are very common situations uh, in the clinic. Poor digestion is mainly caused by the food that you eat. And I know lots of people when traveling abroad will run into some light digestion problems. And I'm gonna be the first one to say, I have trouble digesting lots of Taiwanese food. We're talking hot pot to greasy food, especially all of Taiwan's fried food or lu wei. Things would have lots of seasoning that my body is not used to. Do you ever run into some of these problems when eating different culture food or possibly even food here in Taiwan or in America? My diet in America was tend to be pretty heavy and greasy. So here in Taiwan, overall, I find the food a little bit easier to digest than I did in America. However, there are some things that give me trouble. One of them is uh, sticky rice. Uh, if I eat sticky rice, I get upset stomach nearly every single time. Um, and also some of the pork fat, fatty foods, this will bother me as well. Yeah, I have a problem with the dairy product. I remember the first time when I uh, went to the States for my study, uh, I ate a, uh, a, 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 cheese, a cheesecake. <laughs> oh, oh, the whole night, I, I having this uh, downside. <laughs> Poor cheesecake is my hot pot. We all have this problem, but what kind of individuals really suffer from poor digestion? People that have like poor, uh, like basically like a poor diet in general, like they have a, they don't eat regularly. They also, if they're very busy with work and they're always worried about studying, they also tend to have digestion problems. And people who have a really, uh, just poor diet in general have digestion problems eating fast food, and then they suffer the consequences. I'm a big food fan and I will always have my hot pot four to five times a week. So I wanna know, what can Chinese medicine do to help with my digestion and my eating habits? Chinese medicine um, can really help to strengthen your digestive function. It can help you digest food and break down fats. It can help reduce the bloating. And if you're having GERD or acid reflux, it can also stop that as well. Yeah, and sometimes we also do the acupressure uh, to uh, massage on the acupoint. Uh, there are some acupoint that can help you to improve your digestion. Both of those sound very intriguing and I'm ready to give it a try. Is there Chinese medicine here that I can begin trying right now? Yes, we have some in the kitchen. Hey, Logan, these are the two herbs that we'll use for the digestion. Dunshen and Sadhen in oh. Chinese medicine. Ginseng and cardamom. Cardamom is an herb that's used to strengthen the appetite, open the appetite, and improve digestion. And then ginseng will also strengthen the appetite and let, let you eat more food more comfortably. We use these two herbs together in, in a product or in a formula to help ease the digestion, increase the appetite, and then prevent any kind of 
diarrhea while you're eating. Oh, well, I need that. <laughs> I mean, with all the greasy food, the new food, this is something that actually could help me a lot and could solve many of these problems I've been looking for. Now, what's your suggestion in, in taking this formula? Is it something I take on a daily basis or how does that work? You could take it on a daily basis. You could try to take it before you eat a heavy meal or you could just take it routinely each day. Okay, let's go for it. I'm excited. I love that taste. It's like deep in the throat, very herbal. And it just tastes healthy. Healthy is a good thing. Digestion is a good indication of one's health. Therefore, we should always be finding ways to improve it. Eating good, healthy food that our body can accept is crucial for us having a great digestion. But that's not always the case. Thanks to Greg and Dr. Yen for helping me learn more about Chinese medicine and how it helps with common digestion problems that we all face. Thanks for joining me on my quest to discover Chinese medicine. I'll see you next time.